uh, hey guys, uh, and I sent a, a short message to to Exterminator, and I thought it would be quite straightforward to this guy. Could you do a better factory video on how to make a request just ask for resources only when it uses up its contents? And the answer turned out to be very simple, you know, you have a chest, you have some steel in your system, and this logistics network isn't connected to anything, so it's an, on a dedicated values. Actually, we can just put down a thing and demonstrate it. Well, I mean, basically we have it here, like, I thought it would output something. So. The logistics signal, uh, logistics system sends a signal of 136 steel, because that's how much the logistics system has, and the rest of the steel I have here, but I ended up with 64. <laughs> I have it wired to a decider that checks when this chest doesn't have steel, right? So it sends a request signal. And I multiply that signal by f by whatever number I need. So I, I want 50 steel to be in this chest to be requested into the network. And... Actually, did I? Let's try it again. So right now it's not requesting anything. But because of how request chests work, if I... I send a request and then shut it off. The robots will still complete the order. So that that's one thing, but I end up with 64. So maybe what if I request something something 40? Uh yeah, so straightforward there's no nothing just wire to here, wire from from here to here, wire from here to the chest, and that's it. And I end up with 52. When I requested 40, let's watch that again. So, I have a request of 40. As soon as I have something in this chest, it shuts off the request, but the robots still deliver something extra. Even though they reach that 40. 48. Yeah. Well, at least it works. Thanks for watching. You only need two elements, but you need extra step of, of, you know, of reading what the network has. So for example, uh, here I read that it's 48 and it's the correct value because otherwise I would end up with the steel in the logistics system, which is 36. See, thanks for watching. Hope you found it useful.